Very important. You bring up the question of BPDCN or blastic plasma cytoid dendritic cell neoplasm. This has been a passion uh, area of focus uh, for me and my team over the past decade. Blastic plasma cytoid dendritic cell neoplasm or BPDCN has been a historically rare but highly aggressive uh, clinical disease similar to acute myeloid leukemia, uh, like an acute leukemia process but it's a very rare, unique disease. It affects the skin most commonly, followed by the bone marrow and then the lymph nodes and can involve other areas like the central nervous system. Clinically, it has a hybrid presentation between skin cancer, leukemia, lymphoma. And because it's been so rare and the name has changed so many times, it's actually a quite difficult disease historically to nail down and treat at the clinical level and by pathologists. But the breakthrough came uh, when our colleagues identified that CD123 or IL3 receptor alpha is overexpressed in essentially 100% of these patients. So before this discovery, we and others were using chemotherapy borrowed from AML, ALL, or lymphoma, multi-agent chemo regimens, intrathecal chemo, if you were young and fit, stem cell transplant. Now in the era of CD123, I was fortunate to be able to lead a multi-center group uh, that, that led to the first ever approval in our disease area, and that's with an agent called Tegraxifus, or SL-401, which specifically targets the CD123 surface receptor, IL-3 receptor. Well, this was big because we started out in a pilot study uh, that was published with my colleague, Dr. Frankel, now six years ago. And that pilot study was encouraging as we saw 70 plus percent of patients in a small group of patients have a major response. And we were able to do a larger phase one, two study. And we published those results in a New England Journal of Medicine exactly one year ago in 2019. And that also was the bulk of the data set that led to the FDA approval for this agent in ages two and up for BPDCN. The last part of this story is as the CD123 story continues to expand, other agents and other modalities of targeting CD123 remain of interest, including with other monoclonal antibodies, bispecifics, CAR T cells, what have you. And then a final area is there are other targets being identified by myself, my colleagues around the world that include targets such as BCL2, which might be targeted by venetoclax, uh, and other pathways that may be of high importance in BPDCN. So I believe that rather than this being the uh, end of the beginning or beginning of the end. This is just simply the beginning of an exciting new era for research in BPDCN. And also, Charlie, it highlights that focusing in on rare diseases, ultra rare blood cancers can have enormous implications, not only for that field, but also possibly uh, for other fields because we're able to test this agent and CD123 targeted agents in a number of different myeloid and lymphoid neoplasms.